Thank you so much for coming and for your patience while we got everything sorted out. Uh, my name is Danielle Knapp. I'm the Makash Associate Curator here at the JSMA. Um, and as the Makash Curator, I would be it would be a grave error for me not to mention that we have a work by Ann Kutka Makash on view in the Schnitzer Gallery that will be up for a few more months, um, which relates to the history of the Center for the Study of Women in Society. It's a painting of faculty wives leaving a, a lecture she painted in the 1930s um, that she gifted to CSWS in the 90s. And it recently came to our collection so we'd have opportunities to view it and care for it at a museum. It's a beautiful work of art, so please take some time if you have time after this talk to go to the other gallery and take a look at it. Um, but our purpose for today, very exciting, and to introduce to you three women who have worked very hard on the Center for the Study of Women in Society's 40th anniversary, this show and shows at other locations that they'll tell you more about. Um, so I'd like to introduce Sarah Turner, who's a second year graduate student in Arts and Administration and is currently the Student Membership Coordinator here at the JSMA and has worked closely with us in the past as a curatorial intern. And Janae Wild, who is a PhD student in English, who is the uh, CSWS Development GTF. And Reagan Watches, who is a recent graduate of the master's program in history and was also an exhibition um, coordinator intern for CSWS. And so I will hand over the discussion to Sarah and we'll take it from there. And thank you again so much for joining us today. nature of gender and uh, gender identities and inequalities. So this year marks our 40th anniversary since the founding of the center. It also marks our 30th anniversary of an endowment that made it possible for CSWS to become a, a grantor of uh, research funds. And in the last 30 years, we've given more than $2 million for the support of research on women. So we're very proud of that accomplishment. Um, and the, uh, this year, we have a number of events that are honoring uh, the center and the accomplishments and the legacy of research in, on women on campus. Um, in three weeks is our 40th anniversary celebration, which I invite you all to uh, come to. It's going to be held at the EMU, uh, Urban Memorial Union Ballroom. On November 7th is a documentary film premiere called Agents of Change that honors the legacy of the founders of uh, the Research Center and Women's Studies and uh, ASUO Women's Center on campus and sort of the feminist movement more broadly in our area. On November 8th is a Symposium, Women's Stories, Women's Lives, um, which has panels that discuss four decades of feminist research, teaching, and activism on campus, and that's also the theme of this ex exhibit is tied to. Um, on November 9th is the Sally Miller Gerhardt Worlds Beyond World Feminist Science Fiction Symposium, and we're very honored to have as our keynote speaker for that on the evening of November 8th, um, Ursula Le Guin, who's going to be here speaking about uh, her work and legacy as a feminist science fiction author. Um, these three uh, exhibits, we have this uh, Women's Stories, Women's Lives exhibit here. We also have two other locations. We have exhibits related to the 40th anniversary. Um, one is at the um, Knight Library um, in uh, flat cases that are located near the um, circulation desk. You can just walk in and see that. And our other location is the um, Eugene Airport where we have an exhibit on the mission of CSWS. And the pur purpose of these exhibits is to raise awareness about the center's mission and the legacies of women's lives, uh, which we'll see further in the theme of this exhibit here today. Um, this process started last winter um, as part of my job as a CSWS uh, uh, development fellow. I started researching in the archives in the library of, about CSWS and started to develop the library exhibit and 
um, provided materials also for our documentary and some other projects. And as part of that, and as having these other two locations, we needed to help. We needed to find other people interested in doing research and contributing to these projects. And so that's when we developed the practicum and found uh, Reagan and Sarah, and they have been absolutely fantastic in their work that they've, they've done on, on these exhibits. But we'll talk the other, about the other two locations a little later. Um, right now, I'd like to uh, turn things over to Reagan to talk more about the student process and the development of the exhibits. I think. Hello, my name's Reagan again. I was, uh, um, I recently graduated uh, from the U of O from the Department of History with my master's in history. I was, um, uh, Sarah and I were <clears throat> practicum students last spring developing these exhibits and Sarah took over, um, took primary responsibility for this exhibit in front of us, the JSMA exhibit here. And, um, and then I took primary responsibility for the exhibit that went up at the Eugene Airport. But we um, talked and had meetings about our progress throughout the spring term. Um, when the announcement came out in January for this practical opportunity, I, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the process um, of being a practicum student, what it's all about, and how um, the practicum experience is able to meet the needs of different parties who are all involved in it. So, Sarah um, has um, received her bachelor's in history and then she is a graduate student in the arts administration program with a focus on museum studies. So she came to it um, and I know from taking classes with Sarah and um, some of the projects that she's worked on that she also has an interest in feminist um, activism and women's history. Um, my uh, academic focus was on uh, race and gender in the US, the history of race and gender in the US. So, our academic interests um, were both sort of piqued by this opportunity to work with CSWS. And um, so we both applied and received this position. And we both, um, she has a focus in museum studies. I was getting a graduate certificate in museum studies as well. And we both have some past experiences and jobs doing, um, working on exhibits, but we were both looking to sort of hone those skills and get more experience. And, um, and we received uh, credit through the U of O um, for, this, for working on this, these projects. So um, we had these needs and these um, uh, objectives to sort of work on our exhibit development knowledge and skills, and we also had academic and sort of theoretical interests in the mission of CSWS and um, the sort of advocacy that they promote. So um, our, um, it was sort of a perfect fit for us. And so we um, were chosen and then Janae just explained sort of CSWS's needs and seeking out students um, to help them with this project. And then I think on a, on a broader scale too, part of their mission, which the mission is highlighted in the airport exhibit that I worked on, um, part of their mission is disseminating research on women. So I think this exhibit obviously fits well within that, featuring um, artists, uh, female artists, and also um, subjects of art that are, um, tell the story of, of women and um, in their lives in the 20th century. So I think um, their needs were met to, um, to do that and fulfill their mission and also promote the, this 40th anniversary celebration. And then um, the, the JSMA obviously is the other party here. And um, the JSMA uh, makes a lot of efforts and to, um, has a strong commitment to fostering student learning. So um, that worked perfectly to let Sarah sort of dive into their collections, um, pull out things that would work for this exhibit, get experience doing that, um, honing her skills in museum exhibit development and things like that. And another part I think of JSMA's um, makes a strong effort to develop partnerships with other departments um, at the U of O. So working closely with the CSWS to help them um, fulfill their mission. I think uh, the JSMA uh, makes a strong effort to show how they are um, an important resource and an asset to the university community. They're not isolated. They're very much involved with other departments. So I think, um, I think what was really interesting to me is the way that um, Sarah and I, the CSWS and the JSMA all came to this project with sort of different needs, different objectives, different goals, and um, they were all similar, but we had our own sort of objectives as well, and, and this exhibit shows how um, 
all of these needs and objectives could be met on such collaborative work. So, and you, I think you see the same in the other exhibits as well with the Knight Library and the Eugene Airport. Um, so I'll turn it back to Sarah because Sarah's going to talk a little bit more about the process, uh, how she came to um, the exhibit that you see before you.
announcements. Um, just a reminder, uh, you can view the um, 40 years strong, a timeline of feminist research, teaching, and activism in the Knight Library in front of the circulation desk. I'll find it there. You'll also find the exhibit um, highlighting women's stories in the CSWS mission in the um, University of Oregon display case um, by the baggage claim at the airport. And um, a couple other things you might be interested in if you have, um, if you're a member of any community organization, CSWS um, has a program, Road Scholars Community Lecture Series, and we have three special um, topics for this year. Uh, what is feminism, uh, which is presented by our director, Carol Stabile. Uh, Global Feminism in Media Development, which is presented by our Associate Director, Gabriela Martinez. And then as part of my research that I did for the CSWS exhibit, I'm also presenting on Jane Grant, A Feminist Legacy. Um, and she is as important to CSWS because she is, it was um, her life that inspired her husband to provide the endowment to CSWS. It's made everything possible for us in the 1980s. Um, so that's available as well. I'll be giving a, a noon talk next week um, on Wednesday. If you want to find out any more information about that, you can go to the CSWS website, csws.uoregon.edu. And don't forget to get your tickets for the 40th anniversary celebration. We have uh, brochures about with the schedule on, on the table back there, and there's also a few copies of our annual review for you to pick up and take with you. Thank you very much.